Oh, oh my god, that's cool. Seriously, for the shoot like that. It's called professionalism, okay? This whole video is just us suffering. The journey begins right over here. First step of the hot park. So this is also known as the Southern Regis. Right here, I'm introducing my friend. And yeah. what's her name? Yeah, you should check the video. Ah. So we are right over here. The first park, hot park. The first step of the Southern Regis. Look down. Adidos. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Let the journey begin of the Southern Regis. Oh my god, we are very high up here. So my friend thinks that uh, we are inside a cold country while we are climbing Mount Faber. He thought it was a real mountain. <laughs> That's why he's wearing a real slow, long sleeve. I know it's not a mountain, but I didn't expect it to be this hot. I thought it's going to be a rainy weather, okay? We are not even halfway there and we're already sweating like hell. Over here, you can see the villa. So let me tell you something context about this place. This place is haunted. You can see the person behind Adil. <laughs> We are out here in the middle of rainforest. And you're looking to catch some cheetahs. And it is. You know why he said that? It's the way I'm dressing, to be honest. I look like a Dora the Explorer, the movie. You know, the movie just came out, right? You're like a to the forest. <laughs> I told you I'm a Dora the Explorer. But this thing is damn steep and I'm out of shape. But it's okay, if you fall, you just you, you will just tumble all the way down. You're already halfway there. No, actually, to be honest, no lah. We still have to walk past Henderson Wave, um, about 1.3 kilometer more. But we take the shortcut, which channel you guys saw, which was the stairs. We are running out of time. It's already 5.45. And we have to get out from here at around 6 o'clock. Friend is sweating. I'm just going to tell you that. Hello, you. No, no, no. You look, no, no, stop, stop. You look at yourself. How much you're sweating, see? Take out your cap, take out your cap. Somewhere you're wearing cap. Ah, look, 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 look. Please. You know why not? There's honey inside. There are oh, bees. No, don't drink water in here. There are bees. 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 There are This whole video is just us suffering. Are we here? Yes. Once you see this brick over here, you're already here. And I'm just gonna die. Get out Yes. Yeah. We are here. And that's the way. Adil, Adil, wait, Adil, wait, oh shit, my camera, my camera, my camera, my camera. <laughs> I totally forgot about my camera. <laughs> uh, professional. Now I gotta tell me some professional, okay? It means some professional, okay? <laughs> you know, I can look at the top one. Oh, I think, I think now, okay, now. Okay, like that, ah? Huh? Then one more over here, tight. Like. <laughs> eh, don't, you don't laugh, okay? Eh, don't look, don't look yet, okay? Don't stare at the camera like, damn shit, I can't Oh no, you can go, you can go. Can or not? One picture to another. Why? Right. Like, hey, you who? You, how many years experience or how many years experience? They were nice la. How long did you take? Oh, the top place. Dang. Tell me la, come la, let's go again. <laughs> yeah. I need to wear glasses to look professional in la. You put the camera on the floor. How to make it wider? Come on. Uh, this one too long, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, can, can, can. Yeah, I'm now. <laughs> Don't yeah. laugh at professionals, okay? You just stop going there. Yeah, nice try, nice try. Right, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like that, okay. Like that, uh. Take this one on the left side. Ah, uh, then the one how? Make it tighter, tighter, tighter. Move backwards lah. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, okay, can. Okay, she cannot. Okay, can, can. Go look at the camera. <laughs> okay, one more, one more. 
Okay, get. I can move over. Got one. Someone behind by the door, right? We take the shot and shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, This is nice. This is very nice. This is very nice. Okay. Oh, oh my God! That's cool. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Then the fun blinking black here. That's cooler. Wow. <laughs> Seriously, for the shoot like that. It's called professionalism. Okay. Okay, go go. Are you sure you put your phone there? Yeah, whatever. I'm such a lazy photographer, man. Must lie down to take picture. It's called professionalism. Okay. This is awesome, man. This is awesome. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Right, we are leaving now. We are heading to Mount Faber. We got some product shots. We got 30 minutes worth it. We are going towards the Mount Faber. The Mount Faber peak right over here. Is that a cable peak? Yeah lah, cable peak. This is a peak lah. Of the business. Yeah, same. No, no, not your business. The one I say, go to like some shopping centre like that. We talk to the manager. They pay us a cheap price yeah. to promote the shopping centre. No, Example, like video ah. Yeah, so level one has to like sketch uh -huh. them, have to establish this kind of time. This food shop have this kind of stuff like that. Yeah. Like promote the shopping centre yeah. lah. Don't cost all the celebrity price. We make it cheaper. Then advertisement around the business. Uh, around whole Singapore lah. Yeah lah. But the thing is, how we, how are we going to do that kind of stuff? We're not 16 yet. Yeah. But it's cool right? You earn money. Yeah, so wait for two years time. No, but I'm planning to do the like example like, you know, Amazon FBA. We have reached the Faber Peak. Yeah, the peak. <laughs> this place is nice, man. But then all the flower is just... Yeah, it is supposed to be a wedding place. So now we are starting our descent to Harbour Front. Then after that, we will be going to eat, I think. We are slightly behind time now. We are now actually going down the hill now, starting our descent. Let's try out my lens. 70 to 300. Yes, this 20 times 80 telescope. Which one is more zooming? This one, obviously. Come, let's try. Let's do some shots over here. Take picture of the SO. Okay, which SO? The SO, the building, the blue building. Okay. Got a shot? Yes. MC, we can't better. No, it's huh? a small zooming. Really? Yep. Yeah. Uh, wait, really? let me put a perfect, okay. Thank you. Alright, one point to you, one point to you. One point, one point, okay. It's called a telescope for a reason, guys. It's a telescope. This is just a telephoto lens, that's all. It's quite far, though. It's right no, over there. No, you choose from your eyes, right? Uh, which one better, your eyes or the camera? Obviously, the eyes, ah. Uh. Mm. Okay, okay, you win, Adil, you win. This is the highest point that we can see at uh, Mount Faber. Okay. So now we are going there, and we're going to start our descent. I mean, we already start our descent. It's the ah, highest. Just walk. Just walk. Yeah, we go. Okay, we walk. It's 6.20 and we're walking down now. I think I'll descend. Let's go. My leg pain, yeah. I'm glad there's a big hill, you know. We catch up just behind, just right behind you. <laughs> Let's get. We're already here. We're already here. We are here. We are at the exit already of Mount Faber. Let's go! I'm so happy man. 6.20 eh. We, we, took, we took like a, a good 2 hours. A solid 2 hours to exit. But we took 30 minutes rest. Yeah, and it, it was a good rest. And we got to take some pictures. And I'll show you guys when I get back home. Right, so these are the pictures that I took. The first picture I took of my friend is this picture. I really like this picture because of the building behind him. But the thing that I don't really like is the, the way he's, he's posing with like this hand. The thing that I like is his outfit matches with like 
the overall surrounding like the wood matches with his pants and the background matches with his shirt second picture he took out his spectacles so this pose uh, he just uh, holding his spectacle looking to the far distance so the trick is if you have a model if you want to make the model look rather skinny than like not flattering ask your model to turn like 45 degrees away from the camera because the model is facing directly on you the model can turn out to be flat because of the lighting try not to let the model look face to face to you try let the model to look 45 degrees away from the camera this picture was also taken during the golden hour so the light was flat and even the light was hitting one side of his face which turns out to be alright which I like and the third shot we did some product shot we started out by his shoe because we saw this one post Instagram whereby people are like putting shoelaces up front to their lenses to create depth we tried it out and this was the first picture at the bottom of the frame like that so it actually turns out amazing to be honest and you guys can see it focuses on the Nike Air Max and the background is like blur I wish that the background is a lot more blurrier because it will create a lot more depth so this was taken on f3.5 and I wish that it can go down to like f2.8 I think that would be nicer after that I took the one of the laces the shoelaces and put it to the left on the bottom of the lens like that my friend right over here asked me to focus on him and at that right moment there was a light flare behind him and it got this great shot right? you guys can see like light flare on his spectacle right? covering half of his face which I really like the shoelace create depth in this picture overall I really like this picture over here we move on to watches the first shot I took was this white shot right over here which was him looking at his watch but the thing that I don't like about this picture I think his hand moved and the picture was blurry but from far distance you guys can't really see that it's blurred I really like this picture because of the depth in this picture you can see like his side of his face right over here but that is our focus his hand make like this spiral composition in photography I really like it and after that I did some close up this is focusing on his watch the thing that I like about this picture is that the shine on the watch and I really really like it then after that he took some pictures of me also, which I was very very disappointed in. also it was because of me is the way that I'm dressed also I dress very very ugly to be honest I dress in this yellow color shirt with a bermudas which was not really in my style I like more of like mute tones like black white grey or like the minimalist he took a picture of me uh, this is a before picture which is super overexposed and this is after picture and I'm really impressed on how my camera can recover the overexposed area this was me looking in the distance and my shoe was creating depth again but it wasn't that close enough then this was a silhouette of me you guys can see at the back of my head the hair like lighting up my cap over here and it's creating this like glow back light is great for showing your hairline and the shape of your body which creates like a halo effect a glowing effect like aura a glowing effect from your back which i really really like right that's pretty much it overall this shoot was amazing i rated it around 9.5 out of 10 right to this standard like just right over here 9.5 anyways let's read some comments from instagram few days ago i asked you guys to ask me a question on my instagram story so right over here i'm going to read some of your comments will you be traveling during december holidays where will you vlog actually no there's not much plan for me during december holidays uh, actually nowhere i think i'm gonna go to jb batam but anyways next month i'm going to batam which i think i'm gonna vlog just a bit uh, just a sneak peek and then after that i'll be going to sarawak for six days then i'll return back home and dread my whole entire holiday second question what made you so passionate about cameras and photography actually after i got this camera this d3400 i started to go into photography first but then a few months later i got into videography when i learned how to shoot 24 frames per second a few months later i figured out how to shoot in slow motion which is the 60 fps i really like learning new things and in photography every time i hold my camera i learn something new about my camera and in the photography world and that's why i'm so passionate about photography third question has photography changed any part of your life? And the answer is yes. Usually, I used to wake up like very very late in the afternoon 3 to 4 p.m. But with photography, I became a lot more disciplined with my time to wake up. And now, I'm used to waking up early in the morning like around 8 p.m. in the morning. That really changed my life. And also, if I wake up earlier, I'll be more productive. And that is the thing that changes my whole entire life. Well, last but not least, what camera do you usually use for taking your pictures? Hey. So, the camera that I'm using is D3400 with a 18-55mm to lens. It is a variable lens uh, which means that at 18mm, it is f3.5 and at the closest point it is f5.6 so yeah hopefully you guys like that Q&A that's it for this video guys if you guys like this video please give a thumbs up so I'll see you guys in my next video peace